we're here uh, with Ian Thurwacker uh, Intero Restaurant here in Austin. We're gonna be cooking one of the items on the menu. Risotto, Italian classic. For me, it's one of those things that it's simple. It's gonna take us about 30 minutes, uh, start to finish to get it done. But it's super, super easy. It's something every home cook should at least attempt to do. If you have the wrong rice, you're gonna end up with something that's not risotto in any way, shape, or form. Step one. First thing I do is sweat some onions. We're gonna cook it slow and low and intensify their flavor in the oil until they're almost falling apart. Now we're gonna add the rice. This is the most important step for making risotto because this is gonna affect the end texture and the creaminess of the liquid. Fresh kernel is kind of chalky and powdery looking. The toasted kernel is almost translucent. So at this point, we're gonna add some white wine for flavor and also the acidity is gonna kind of balance the richness of the risotto. Really crucial part of the risotto for me. You'll notice over here I've got some chicken stock in a pot um, that's almost to a simmer. I'm looking at three times as much stock as I have rice. Okay. But I don't wanna add it all at once. Now is when I add salt and I wanna season for that much risotto. If I add all my salt at the end, then the cooking liquid is gonna taste really nicely seasoned, but the rice itself won't absorb it. An old chef that I learned from explained to me that if you have your stock at a, at a boil, your rice kernels are basically stirring themselves. Time. So really what I'm doing is I'm listening for the sound. And once I hear the bubbling start to subside, then I'll add my next addition of stock. Now it looks like our rice is done. Okay. The texture and the consistency uh, has changed a little bit. The kernels are larger, okay. plumper, and a little bit translucent. You wanna wait till the end. Uh, if you add your butter too soon, then your end result's gonna be sort of greasy. Okay. For me, uh, risotto is meant to be decadent. Lots of butter, lots of cheese. I've got some grilled corn. Awesome. I love grilled corn. So I'm just bringing it up to a pretty heavy simmer. I really want to agitate it to get everything evenly distributed. Yep. So now that we have it exactly where we want it, we're gonna come over here. And then what I like to do is just give it a little shake. It's delicious. Uh, let's try it. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Really good. Thank Ciao. you. Thanks, man.